Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. Thanks for choosing to spend a little time with me in the shop today. If you haven't already done so, please go down below and click subscribe. Also, don't forget to click the bell right next to the word subscribe. That way I can send you a message every time I put up a new video. Now today's video is gonna be on filters. What I've decided to do is to cut open a bunch of filters and show you what's inside. One of those things as a mechanic that just drives me crazy is the marketing wank that comes around any automotive product. Our product is better, it makes your car last longer, your engine go for a million miles. Where's the proof? The proof is in the pudding. This is gonna be our pudding for today. So one of the things I wanted to do before we actually cut these filters open is I wanted to show you some of the parts of the filter and explain actually how the filter works. So first off, the filter screws on and there is a gasket. If you do this yourself, you know this gasket needs to be lubricated before you put it on. Otherwise, you have a pretty tough time getting it back off. Secondly, there's some threads in here. These threads are specific to the vehicle. Now, how does this actually work? Well, this can holds the oil pressure for the vehicle. So oil goes through the filter in a pretty specific direction. Oil goes through all of the holes on the outside. As it goes through all the holes on the outside, it pushes past this little rubber valve right here. This valve is called an anti-drain back valve. So when the oil is pushing in, it pushes this out of the way, okay? Comes into the filter itself, flows around the outside of the filter and is forced through the filter media into the center channel where it comes back out through the center of the filter. So first of all, the can. The Wix can is by far the heaviest gauge can. It actually has a legitimate spring that holds the filter in there. The filter is a very high quality. It feels like a very heavy material. Folks, this is where it gets pretty unbelievable for me. Remember the one that was the pretty orange color that looked like it was such a great filter? Let me show you what you get inside. The base plate is a fairly high quality. The gasket's standard. The anti-drain back valve, look at that. Can you see the cardboard that's stuck on that? That's unbelievable to me. But look here, look at the quality. This filter is already rusted on the inside. These are brand new filters. I just ordered these a week ago. You can see that it's already rusting on the inside of the filter. Now where's that rust gonna go? It's gonna go inside your engine. Before I cut this apart, I just gotta tell you, this has gotta be beyond about the most cheese ball thing I've seen so far. Look at the filter coming apart already. Absolute garbage. By far, by far, the Napa Gold filter is the highest quality, which, not surprisingly, is second only to the Wix filter. When you look at the filters as a whole, the Napa Gold filter and the Wix filter far surpasses anybody else. The Purilator filter is what I would call standard quality. The can is nothing remarkable. The filter on the inside is actually pretty good. It's fairly well made. It doesn't break apart easy. The spring is a typical bent metal type spring. The base plate is a heavy base and the anti-drain back valve is, is, a, is an acceptable quality. Next is the Fram. This folks is why I made this video. See this Fram filter? Can you see that Fram filter? You see that Fram filter? This filter is cardboard. There's no metal in it. And notice when I took it apart, the cardboard's already coming apart in it. It's already rusted inside the filter. Inside there is rust. The drain back valve doesn't even do anything but push inside the cardboard. The base is of good quality, I'll give them that. Standard type spring, but holy cow. The filter is already starting to separate from the cardboard just by a little twisting action. So can you imagine what happens to it when oil pressure starts pushing through it? Garbage. 
the Bosch filter. The filter itself is what I would call an acceptable quality. It's rugged, it's rigid, typical crapola spring. The base is of high quality. It's, it's a very thick, heavy material, and the anti-drain back valve is of a good quality too. Let's cut them apart, see what we got. Real quick synopsis, let's do them side by side comparison on the filters and, and how they all line up. The Napa Gold filter is a very high quality. You can see it has a, a join air reinforcing bar here that joins the pleats, reinforces everything. You notice that it's very solid, the inner workings of the filter itself. It's put in here with some kind of elastomeric compound to, to glue the filter in place. Next one up is the Purolator, pretty good quality. It's not as rigid as the Napa Gold filter is, but it's what I would call an acceptable quality. I'm not too keen on the springy thing that's in here. Base plate on this particular filter is very heavy duty. Drain back valve has a Parker part number on it. Parker is a maker of a lot of seals and hydraulic hoses and rubber. Next up is the Fram filter. What can I say? I mean, when you pull a filter open, just like the filter for the small block Chevrolet we pulled apart was rusted inside. This one's rusted inside as well. Folks, that's complete garbage. That's unacceptable to even, to even think about buying something that has that low of quality control. When I even tried to cut the filter apart, look what happened. The cardboard is just, it's, I can't, I just, I'm almost speechless. Next up is the Wix filter, which was absolutely identical to the Napa Gold. We kind of already theorized that. Again, high quality, uh, same setup here. You can see I wrenched on this one a little bit, kind of pulled it apart, but very high quality. It's got a joiner bar where it joins the two pleats together. So there's no leakage where the pleats meet up. It's a good sturdy piece of material. Both of these have the proper spring in them, a real spring. The base plate is very heavy, and it's got to be 10 gauge material that this is made out of. Both anti-drain back valves are very heavy duty. Then we'll move to the Bosch filter. So the Bosch filter, I can say pretty much with 100% conviction, is the same filter as the Purolator with a different brand name on it. Again, same as Purolator. It's a good quality filter, uh, not it nearly as heavy duty as the Wix or the Napa Gold. They by far are the most high quality, but let's just not look at quality. Look at, let's look at the filter media itself. But you can't compare this filter media that's this long to this filter media here. Where my fingers are is where the filter media for the Pure Later ends, and this, there's that much more filter media where the filter media for the Wix Napa Gold filter goes. That more filter media means the more surface area that can trap particulates in your engine. So without a doubt, I can tell you that I will never buy one of these filters ever. If I was on a deserted island and the only auto parts store that was open had one of these filters, it might be the only time I would consider using this filter because otherwise, not a filter for my choice, never will be one in my shop especially not when two filters in a row both have rust inside the filter and not just a little surface rust, actually flaking rust that you can actually wipe off onto your fingers. When you can see that in your fingers like that, that's going into your oil, into your engine. I hope this has brought a little insight to what is actually inside these filters and the marketing wank behind what they try to get you to think is a high quality filter. Thanks for spending some time with me here in the shop. Don't forget to subscribe to the Do Right Fabrication YouTube channel, and we'll see you real soon. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed what you saw here today. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and like us on Facebook, please. Somewhere down below here is a link. We've got a lot more really cool stuff coming. Is that right, camera guy? Is there a link down there? Send me a comment. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Click whatever link. Click something. See you soon.